in this video i will be discussing about the chef and array construction problem from the october long 2022 challenge of code chef the prerequisites for this problem are binary operation that is bitwise and bitwise and concept permutation and combination very basic concept you don't need like you just need to know the permutation and combination concept from class 12 that thing the test cases were input uh, if the if the inputs are 2 2 then it will be 3 if it is 2 3 the it will be 12 now let's uh, discuss the question this is n and this is m okay so the question states that you have to make arrays of size n and the numbers in it would be from 1 to m okay so the size of array would be 2 that is n and this can be either 1 or 2 and this can be either 1 or 2 that is 2 number of possibilities would be 4 okay so that makes it m to the power n this is a very basic concept of permutation combination that is the number of possible arrays would be m to the power n okay so let's for the first case let's say what would be the arrays it will be 1 1 1 2 uh, 2 1 and 2 2 okay the and it will be one the output would be 1 and 1 plus 1 and 2 that is the ands of all the elements of the array this will become 2 and 1 this will become 2 and 2 answer would be 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 2 that is 3 okay so in this case we have got the answer 3 if the values would be 2 and 3 it will be 12 okay so let's jump to the concept how will we be solving this so we know there is one constant given that m is less than equals to 10 to the power 9 and we all know that 10 to the power 9 is uh, a little less than 2 to the power 32 okay so the maximum number the the maximum value of m will if we represent it in binary it won't exceed 32 bit so we will make an array of size 32 1 dot 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 31 okay now let's discuss the concept how we'll be solving this so for 2 and 2 the values from 1 to m would be 1 and 2 that is m is 2 okay 1 and 2 the binary representation of 1 is 0 1 for 2 it is 1 0 um, so uh, we have seen that for and this is 3 now the question is how would we solving this we have to check the number of ones in the units digit there is only one one for this uh, tens digit there is one one and for the rest of the digits there are zero ones okay zero ones so the modified so the A arr would look like this zero 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 dot 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 all zeros and the last two would be one okay one one now the question is there are two spaces okay we know that two spaces are there so how many ways can i make this space one so since we have got only one one so we can use one and again this one and make it one we there is no other possibilities for the units digit okay and for the tens digit again we can use this one and again reuse this one to get one okay i hope this is clear so there is only one way to do it so we will again modify this array as the number of ways we can place the ones uh, which becomes again one and one because there is only one way to do it and there is only one way to do to make the tens digit one okay so now we have to, now we have this uh, array which is a binary uh, bin which is we have to convert this from binary to decimal that is zero 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 dot 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 one one it is decimal is three so the output is um, three okay we got it i think this is not clear for you so i would be jumping to the next test ca test case that is two and three so the array would be again of size two and uh, the numbers would be from 1 to m that is m is 3 okay so the number would be either 1 or 2 or 3 for 1 the representation is 0 0 1 for 2 it is 0 1 0 
for three it is zero one one we can uh, there will be uh, 30 that number of zeros okay since we are representing it in arr form so we have done this now we have to check how many ones are in the units digit there are one to two ones and for tens digit there are two ones and for the rest positions there are zero ones okay so the arr would look like zero 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 dot 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 and the last two would be two okay now the question comes in how many ways can we uh, write this two twos in two blocks okay there are two sorry two ones in one block uh, in two blocks okay so we have got two ones and there is one one okay blank so we can for this thing we can either choose this one or this one so there are two possibilities and for this we can either choose this one or this one okay uh, uh, this one and this one if you don't get it this is this this one is this one and this one is this one okay the unit digits so we can either do it this way or we can uh, sorry not the unit digits I, I didn't mean it so uh, if there are two ones in this position so uh, we can either make so just check this we can either make this two into two and for this position we can also make it two into two which is a basic permutation concept okay you guys know it the basic permutation concept that if there is uh, we have to fill these gaps with one one then uh, two into two that's that's a basic permutation concept so two into two two into two so the array modifies further into zero zero dot 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 four and four that is two into two and two into two okay now the question is we can't convert this into binary to decimal because this is four so we can still convert this that is four into two to the power zero and 4 into 2 to the power 1 which this may not seem into a binary uh, array but you have, if you convert it from this array from uh, in the form of binary to decimal you will get the same answer that is 4 into 2 8 plus 4 into 1 4 which becomes 12 okay so this is the answer so now let's talk about the pseudo code so we don't if we you if we convert for every uh, element from 1 to m 1 to m uh, while this i y is, y is equals to while i greater than 0 and convert it to by uh, decimal to binary and check how many ones in the units digit how many ones it, so this will make you a tle error okay so for this we have to understand the basic concept of and truth table or the truth tables you know the truth tables it goes like if it's 0 0 0 1 I mean 0 1 2 the binary representations it goes like 0 0 0 1 then 1 0 1 1 then 1 0 0 so if you know this there is a pattern that 0 1 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 it goes like this 0 1 0 1 this goes like this okay and this goes like 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 so this goes like this so we can uh, find out how many ones are in the units place how many uh, ones are in this place how many ones are this place and dot 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 then make an array of how many ones are in this place how many in this how many in this and dot dot uh, how many in this okay and then modify the array by using the simple permutation concept that is how many spaces are there into uh, if, if uh, let's say there are n obviously there will be n spaces and the number over here is x okay so we will modify this as x to the power m the number over here is y we will modify this as y to the power m okay you get it so once we have done with the modification we will convert this array like we convert binary to decimal as if the array is a binary array okay so now let's discuss the pseudo code the pseudo code will be first we will make long division adjusted uh, element as long uh, 2 to the power 32 okay 
then we have to run an array from 0 to 32 that is 31 that is true throughout the whole array int arr of size 32 okay um, we have to run the whole array and make every element as m plus 1 by div into div by 2 okay this is uh, the pattern thing that I explained this is because of the pattern thing because if you go on converting each element into its binary form and then check how many ones are there so that will give you a TLE okay so th we do this and for AR of I we have to add a, uh, some of th something that is if m plus 1 mod div is greater than div by 2 then only uh, I guess the brackets are yes the brackets are okay then only we will add to this m plus 1 mod div minus div by 2 else we will add 0 that is nothing okay and at after every step we will uh, make div div by is equals to 2 okay so the for loops uh, ends over here now let's say the answer which is 0 mm, k is equals to 31 that is the place value for since we are doing it from this uh, the array is from here to here and for binary conversion we do it from here to here so we have to initialize it to 31 then we have to make another array which is from 0 to 32 again that is 31 sorry my mistake and then if ar of i is not equal to 0 because if it's 0 0 into anything becomes 0 so we don't need to check it so only for not equals to 0 we will check it let's say long this is not long this is long uh, let's say we take pow now if ar of i is not equals to 1 because if it's equals to 1 1 into 1 into 1 into anything 1 to the power 1 to the power anything becomes 1 so we don't need to do this again the same logic <clears throat> so pow we modify it as power of ar of i comma n now you may get a tle for this if you need the code i will give it in the description because this is a long code but if in case you get a tle for this i will give you it in the description so once you have done with the if so again we have to run a loop from j is equals to 1 to j less than 32 j plus plus where you will make pow is equals to pow into 2 mod the thing that has been given in the question again and after you have done this answer is equals to answer plus pow mod something okay this is a very simple thing i guess you understand this so ending the if ending the for and then we have to print the answer so this is basically the pseudo code for this i okay let me refocus it i hope this is visible for, to you so this is the pseudo code this and the previous thing that whatever i discussed was the explanation all the best for the october long challenge i hope you get your stars improved, you know, your coding skills improved after watching this video. Thank you.